Hi you guys, so I'm gonna talk to you about what it's been like to be Miss Washington's Outstanding Teen and just a little bit about me and my journey to this title. So uh, as most of you know, my year definitely did not start out in the normal way. Um, it started at me screaming, go Peyton, onto my Facebook Live. Um, but it's been one of the biggest blessings and I've really enjoyed having this title so much. I think one of the best parts of having this title is really the people uh, that you get to meet and you guys, whether you end up being a state title holder or not, uh, get the chance to meet so many of these amazing people as well. Um, all the volunteers and sponsors, amazing young women including all of you guys and all of the contestants last year and all of the misses in the miss program, I didn't even expect like, I didn't understand the amount when people would say that being in the Miss America program you meet people. I didn't understand what that meant until now. I've really met and made connections with so many awesome people and also with a lot of different organizations. Um, when you go and volunteer places or you work with organizations pertaining to your platform, you really have the opportunity to connect and meet people and I've really enjoyed that so much. I first began my journey in the Miss America organization in 20 no November 2018. I competed in the Miss West Sound pageant and you guys, I had no idea what I was doing. Like. I wore my friend's prom dress that ripped the night before. I did a terrible contour job. My hair was in like tight ringlet curls. Um, I was seriously clueless and when I won the title, I had actually missed the West Sound orientation because I was gone over the summer. So when I won the title, I literally didn't even know that there was a state title. Like, clueless. Looking back on that whole, like how I was during that time, I realized that having the most glamorous dress and perfect hair and makeup wasn't really the point. That's not what was important and I think that on the surface level in pageantry, pageantry in general, that's what we first think of. We think, oh, the prettiest girl wins, the one with the best hair and best makeup, but truly that's not what it's about. Being a title holder, it's about your heart for service, your academic goals, and your ability to communicate with others. and. One thing that really stuck with me from Forum last year was something Nova Lee, Nova Lee said and she said you want to make everyone else feel like they're the ones wearing the crown and it sounded cheesy to me at the time and I was like okay that's cute but <laughs> really it's true. Um, having a title, whether it's a state title or a local title, wherever you are as a title holder you want to create an environment where people feel loved and accepted and excited that you're there because being a title holder it does make you kind of a celebrity, so um, it's really important that you have that, um, they're looking for that kind of personality. Being able to compete at the Miss Washington's Outstanding Team pageant was the coolest and most humbling and special experience that I've ever had. I can't even, like, pageant weekend is so much fun and um, I just want to encourage you all to I know one thing I did is I really made it, I mean it was so fun, but I also added a little bit more stress to it than I needed to. So really, once you're fully prepared and you've done everything you can in your preparation for this um, competition, just have fun, enjoy yourself. And that's really, talking to Peyton about it, she, um, last year, she was, she was so prepared and she did such an amazing job and I asked her like what her, like, if she had any tactic and she said that she really just enjoyed herself. She loves performing and being on stage and talking to people and interviewing so that's definitely um, something that's really important to really take this ex as an experience and something that is going to be of so much value to you but also don't make it too stressful for yourself. Well, as Miss Washington's Outstanding Teen, I've gotten to work alongside some really cool organizations including Children of the Nations, Bremerton Backpack Brigade, Kids at Rescue Mission, and Rescue Freedom, and quite a few others, and um, these all were in regards to my platform of challenging global poverty. Um, I also had the amazing opportunity to go on a mission trip with Children of the Nations. It was a medical mission trip um, last November, and 
I plan to study global healthcare and medicine and it was so cool to be able to see the connection between um, my platform of poverty and how it ha deals with medicine and healthcare and um, that trip was seriously one of the coolest experiences of my life. So I think it's really, I'm just trying to add tips in here, I think it's really important as a title holder, whether it's state or local, to always keep an eye out for opportunities to partner with organizations that have to do with your platform. And to always keep an eye out for things, so like Facebook events has been awesome, just looking um, like at posters put up in coffee shops and um, communicating with organizations that you are advocating for is also really important and it brings a lot of opportunities. I, um, in February, I actually got to give a TED talk, which like, what the heck, it was so cool. Um, it's available on the YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out, but that's something that um, someone from the West Sound organization gave me the, what's the word? Gave me a referral to apply to give a TED talk and that was literally amazing. So you never know what opportunities are gonna come your way and um, it's, I've had such an amazing year and lots of things have come up that I never really, I never would have thought, oh, I'm gonna give a TED talk about this, but always just be communicating and open to new ideas and opportunities. Every single time a little girl comes up to me at events, I literally die inside with happiness because it is so cute and it just makes me so happy. And being a role model and a leader is one of the coolest parts of being a title holder. And um, just know that wherever you go, even if people are too scared to come up and talk to you or if they're like, why is that girl wearing a crown? People really, especially um, young people, are looking up to you. So that's been really cool as a state title holder to be able to represent this organization in a positive way. And even as local title holders, I just recommend that you always, um, you never know who's watching. So always try and be a role model. And if there's a little girl who maybe is looking at you and scared to come up, go up to her and give her your autograph card or do things like that. That is super special and it's the being a role model part of it is really cool. I also decided to add this in this video because I forgot to include this um, when I was filming it, but in regards to, like, I know when I first even entered this organization, I was kind of worried about scheduling, like, events amongst, you know, I know you guys have crazy extracurriculars and dance and piano and singing and whatever it is that you do, but um, it is so possible, and um, but it's also very important to have good time management. I know for me, my senior year was, I mean, it has been up until now that we're out of school. It's been seriously kind of a whirlwind. Um, I joined cheer, and I, um, I joined cheer before I knew I had the state title. Um, and I am a dancer, and I play piano, and I'm in a bunch of clubs at school. And I seriously spend, I think, like 25 hours a week at my dance studio. Um, but just know that it's totally possible if this is something that you are really wanting and preparing to do then you will be able to make the time for it. Um, there are some times when you have to sacrifice like um, there are a couple of days where there was a local pageant and I had rehearsal but um, I would have to talk to my director and leave rehearsal early to go to the pageant. Um, but it's all about having good communication and good time management and it is totally possible to um, do all those amazing things you do while being a title holder. The Miss America and Miss Washington's Outstanding Teen Organization has truly allowed me to find my voice. This year has been one of the craziest and most exciting years of my life and I am so grateful to the Miss Washington Outstanding Teen Organization for taking me on as a title holder. Um, this was definitely a very unique year. and. Our teen forum is now online. It gets it gets more unique as we go, but <laughs> it's been so cool, and I'm so grateful for this organization for helping me develop poise, speaking skills, leadership skills, and just kind of grow as a person. Um, the things that I've learned as a title holder and as a contestant are things that really I'm have carried with me. I, I will continue to carry with me for the rest of my life, and I want to. Um, really push that for you guys that even if you don't walk away with a title, you are learning such valuable things. Not many 14 and 15 year olds are standing in front of a panel of judges being asked about, you know, political questions and questions having to do with poverty. So this is really cool and unique experience and um, I'm just so excited for the one of you that gets to fill this role and for all of you guys who get to compete and go home and continue to be local title holders. So. Um, just remember that no matter what your title is, your year is what you make it and 
this is, I'm just so grateful and I'm, this has been the best job in the world. <laughs>